Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is another wonderful Monday this May of 2022, making it a wonderful day for murder. But don't you know it? I just got done playing some simuls for the last uh, two hours or so. Don't really feel like uh, playing a game, so I'm going to bring you something special. Today, good old YouTube. You. That's right, you. You get to play a game while I'm showing you a game. You too get to guess what rank are these fantastic players. And if you want to just throw yourself a, a little extra, you know, flex on there, you could even guess where this game was played. Was it played on KGS? Was it played on OGS? Was it played on Tygem? Fox? Yahoo? Dragon Go server? Who knows? Maybe it was even played in person. Or it could have been played on Fly or Die, as Fire Skirts just said. Very, very true. You never know. You never know. So go. While we're playing along, you can make your make your own little guesses there. See if you're right. Got two games going on today for your enjoyment. And speaking of your enjoyment, uh, this month, happily sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is an easy service where you can decide, as you can see uh, on your screen here, you can decide number of people that you are buying food for, how many recipes you want per week, and go ahead and sign up for your plan. My code is in the description down below. Use it and you get a bunch of free food that you can cancel anytime. So yeah, how it works, pretty simple. You can choose uh, your menu changes from week to week. You can decide what it is you want to try. They mail the ingredients to you. It's pretty great. Uh, I've got stuff coming for myself that I'm looking forward to enjoying probably uh, on stream. Uh, no, this week, I guess. Uh, so yeah, if you feel like trying this out, US only, sorry. Then yeah, description, code below. Make sure you use it. Get some food for cheap. Yeah, you can select categories to choose from, whether you love eating meat, just veggies, something quick and easy. Whatever it is, they got you covered. Go ahead, uh, check it out, supports the channel. And now, let's get back to some Go. All right, so our first lovely game here, our mystery player takes black, throwing down the three, four points. And what do my eyes see here? A 5-4 point. Does that make them really, really strong or really, really weak, though? Are they a double-digit Q, single-digit Q, Don, professional? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Double 3-4 from black. Okie dokie. White approach is being all nice and aggressive, and apparently, apparently Black says to himself, Corner. Corner. I ain't gotta respond to that. I take open corner. Interesting placement here. Interesting placement here. Um, ah, uh, don't want to give anything away. It's clearly noticing that the 3-4 point here, the, the approach, right, is trying to maybe build on the side, makes it harder. Okay, okay. Even more. Even more aggression. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Black goes for a nice low pincer. My favorite, personally, uh, currently, nowadays. Ooh, yeah, definitely love that low pincer. Not too close, not too far away. White can't settle all that easily. White goes and approaches. White goes and approaches. Okay, okay, okay. Black says, no, 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 no. You answer me. What level is the opponent? Someone asks in Twitch chat. That is something for you to decide for yourself. What level is this opponent? What level is it? When was it played? Who knows? What are your guesses? This is actually an interesting result now. This is actually a pretty interesting result now because 
this is uh kind of like a, a Chinese variation. Isn't that like a Chinese variation here? Right, right, right. So okay. And thanks for checking out uh HelloFresh and using my link. Much appreciated. White's coming on out. Black's taking the territory nice and nice and smooth. So here. Here, I would say probably not DDK. I would say probably not DDK. Mm -hmm -hmm. Influence. Now that's it. That's a hint right there. White just said this was influence. Oh, that's a strong hint. Does that strike you as being influential right now? This, these three stones, of which a weak point is clearly present. Like, you can go ahead and poke this and come out and keep harassing that. Does that look like influence to you? White just said it was. I, I think if you're looking for a hint here, that's a pretty strong one. I don't know. Got the lean. More hints, more hints, more hints. White pushes and cuts. And then decides to play this way. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this way. This is usually Jaseki, right? This one's a little bit uh, uncommon, but I, I confess I have seen it in certain places. Not going to say where. I've seen it in certain places. Question now is how is black going to handle it? Okay, black extends. Okay, okay, okay. Um, white pursues. A little bit passive of black here. Uh, not all that enthused about the fact that he's not being that aggressive, not fighting all that much, but, you know, okay. Oof. Empty triangle. That is either the emptiest triangle that ever emptied a triangle, or it's a very powerful triangle. But which one? Black drops down. White pursues. Black goes under to try to connect up. Two space into a large knight. Oof. 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 White clearly says, uh, bro, I ain't letting you connect under. That's, that's a pretty aggressive move right here. Definitely more aggressive than Black is. Black's being, like, all chill and stuff. White is just, like, frothing at the mouth, saying, this is influence, I'm gonna cut you, rawr. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. I, I'm I'm completely completely mistaken. White approaches first. Tags white. Extends up. Leaves. And now goes into the kill. My bad. Got the order of moves wrong. Got the order of moves wrong there for a second. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Same same general idea. Same general idea, right? Same general idea. Going for like the whole rar I'm gonna kill you thing. Um I I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This move not a particular fan of. Like, yeah, you're stopping black from extending, but it's kind of wishy-washy, you know? Doesn't it look like a little bit of a wishy-washy kind of move? Just just my opinion. Just my opinion. All right. White says you're dead. And you can see why. Like, Yuhane cut, and then... Yeah, it's... Not looking good for our heroes, huh? Black just extends. White pursues. Thankfully, Black does manage to cut. It would be a little bit of an ouch 
if he just did something like this instead, right? Like, oof. Oof. That wouldn't be pretty. No, 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 no. That would not be pretty at all. It's so, alright. He cut at least. He cut at least. White's like, I kill you. Power triangle again says, no, you don't. White says, I'm out. You're dead. What, why, why are you even still playing this game? Why are you even still playing here? Stands up. All right, possible throw in. Cool. Another power triangle. Got the Atari in. Got the connect. Looking dangerous. We cannot let this group die. That'd be game over. Anyone know worth their salt. Anyone worth their salt knows. That group's got to live. So how do we live? If you actually saw this move, you are pretty good at life and death. Much better than I am. Much better than I am, because that was not obvious to me. You might be thinking to yourself, but if it's not obvious to you, doesn't that mean... Wait, doesn't... If it's not obvious to you, doesn't that mean this has to be above 7 Don? And 8 Don? No, not really. My life and death sucks. I admit it, my life and death is trash. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Connects back. Threatens to go over. Comes on out. Oh, the squeeze of doom. You love to see it. You love to see it. Atari. Take Atari. White has to escape. We go ahead and take to get those stones off the board. And connection. Uh, D6 doesn't work. Let's go back and look. Let's go back and look. Did I miss something? D6? What's D6? D6, D6, D6. Uh, this one? So, how, no, no, because you've got this one now, right? So two liberties to three. Oh, for black. Wait, what? When is black, what, this? Um, then you've got this one. I'm um, something, wait, no, D6 is, D6 for black is this one. So then you've got, oh, you've actually got a full on thing here. I guess you'd be alive, technically, but it is a way inferior life. I guess technically you could be alive here, but it is way inferior to what you're about to see. Because we get to play this one, hitting the shape point. These are forced because has to not be surrounded. And now the two stones are dead. Got to connect up in Atari. Now we've got a weak group. Oh. So good. So good. And now a chasing we will go. White's running around or running out. And now the person that we were thinking is, you know what? He's just too passive. He's just too passive. Now he's showing his teeth. He's like, no. I'm hunting you. He looked too passive. This player. This player was hiding his strength. Whoever this individual happened to be. We thought perhaps it's like, okay, kick. 
The one space is eh. Just running out, not playing any Hane. I mean, mm, it, it's, I guess it's okay. Just connecting under. Eh, I mean, I guess it's okay. Not really being, you know, mm, getting in there. Right? But suddenly, his opponent made an overstep. And now he's someone after my own heart. Now he's he's not letting anything slide. Every weak point, he's completely on it. His opponent's trying to run, and he's now not letting up. Nice. All right, so white, or black rather, I'm a fan of. Look at that sweet double tap. Oh, look at that sweet double tap. He's like, hey, hey, group, surrounded. Surrounded, needs to live. Needs to live. And White's like, can you not make territory up here? To which Black says, "Are you, excuse me? White's like, you heard me. You heard me. Again with the double tap? Not being distracted. Just like, hey, I'm going to kill you again. White goes for life. Black says, hey, I'm still here. And now all of that is dead. And he just keeps mercilessly punching him in the face. Like, this is a completely different person. Just going crazy, and now suddenly killing everything. Killing everything, and it doesn't even stop there. Because we have the lean. We would all answer this move without even thinking about it. Without even thinking about it, right? But then the, the, the small knight can be cut. Here, 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 into stuff. So Black's just like, no. Hane had a two and three stones. So White's like, I'm going to kill that then. Black's like, okay, I'm going to double tap this then. No, Hane had a two and three. Fix shape. Grab the enclosure. Solidifying his profit. White goes for fit sixth line, sorry. Disconnection. 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 Maintain protect the cutting point. And there, there we have a whole heaping amount of points for white. At this point, you're probably thinking this game was played on Fox. Fox Nine Dons. Maybe eight. Probably Fox Nine Dons. Because one person died. He's not resigning, and he's just trying to, like, just, like, rebuild up or something. Or maybe, maybe Pandanet, right? Aggressive player playing on a pan again on Pananet versus a builder. It's probably what you're thinking. It's probably what you're thinking. Black comes in and says, uh, I'm gonna live in here. Hope you don't mind. White says, die in a fire. Black says, hey, look at that. Small eyes can be cut. White says no. Grab grab base. White again says no. Killstone? Again, White says no. Pretty please, Killstone? Still no. Creating cutting points. Threatening to kill a stone. 
starting to link up a stone. Having to connect, because the Atari here with the Liberties involved means uh, you can only get like one, two, three, four, five, six if you run all the way across. This will have more than six Liberties, so you're dead. If this cuts, right? If this cuts, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So you take this in six moves. You're not taking that in six moves. This is one, two, three, four, five right there with like a little tail, right? So that, that, that ain't happening. So that connection, nice. Kill? But now the kill is here. Because large knights can be cut. Defend. Threatening to kill. Now he turns. Takes out the eye. Forcing moves are fun. Forcing moves are fun. And now he has living shape. Can't kill it. Because it's like the 2, 4, 6 thing. With uh, that drop down at T14. Uh, and it's Sente too, because Atari into the extend. So this would have to be played. Into here. And that's alive. Forced moves. Otherwise, if you do anything else, it's just getting worse. Right? So at this point, white resigns. Because black is alive. And most of the left-hand side of the board is dead. So, oh, by the way, and, 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 this is uh, potentially a problem still for later on. So, where was this game played? Some of you are probably thinking this is definitely a Fox game. Fox game nine down. Uh, you're you're not entirely wrong. There may have been a fox in the vicinity of where this was played. I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know for sure. Um. But if it did, it probably had like nine tails because this was played in Japan in like 1915. The player in question, Black, is a player named Kato Shin. And I was shocked because this looked like a game right off of Fox. I have never heard of this person before until today. I randomly came across the game. And it was just like, wow, this guy is so patient. He killed everything. And did did you buy d crazy dude crazy dude uh from what i can tell sadly he never made nine don but i mean the era in which he played you kind of envy it and at the same time you really don't because this guy has games against go sagan he's got games against katani minoru you probably recognize both of those names. Like, with those kind of heavy hitters, yeah, you're playing in a little bit of a tough era. You're playing in a little bit of a tough era, you know? Yeah, just a little, little, little painful. Leaves a little bit of a mark on the old, uh, on the old ghost stones. But, I found this game, I loved it, I wanted to bring it to your attention, and I've got one more that I want to bring to your attention too. 
Oh, really? You recognize the name. White introduced Go Sagan to Japan. Cool, cool. So we got one more game here. There's no guessing at this point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the thing, put the guys on, put the names on. All right, there we go. So this next game, go ahead. You can see their names right there in front of you. Uh, this time we have a one don versus a two don. This game was played before the last game. Last game was played in 1915. This one is played in 1911. So these games are so old, but it's fun because that last game, it looked like it was played today. There was a few moves that would have changed a little bit, but even the Jaseki that was picked in that lower left-hand corner, I've seen that being played today. So don't be like, eh, 19, no one plays that. No, that was very, very relevant. That was super relevant. In fact, I just saw someone on Twitch who was streaming play that bottom left-hand Jaseki as well. Though they did Hane stuff and they got slaughtered. Um, but still, you know. All right, so here we've got Kato Shin as black playing against some more orthodox player, uh, Hayashi Tokozu, who is white. We have diagonal openings that have fallen out of favor. 5-4 because of the thing, makes sense. Black says, you can't approach me. White says, I will approach you anyway. Good old aggressive openings. As I said, I love this pincer. And now here is where we're going to see a second that no one really plays anymore. So if anyone ever plays this against you, what I usually recommend as white is to just play here. This is fine enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. You've settled. You're okay. And then later on, you can usually even play this one too. Some people... Oh, Christ. There we go. Some people take that away from you way too early because they're silly. They'll play here and just give you Sente back and be like, thank you, I guess. I get to just like poke here and then maybe play a follow-up move here and then I get to go and play down in here too to make sure I'm never attacked ever. Fantastic. But yeah, not, not a problem, not a problem. But no, we play here. Because why wouldn't we play this way? It was popular for a while. It was popular for a while. Now, luckily, they choose a pretty simple variation. We have settling for uh, white, settling for black. Everything is okay. In terms of uh, Taisha variations, this one's pretty. This one's pretty calm. This one's pretty calm and chill, right? It does grant a lot of influence to white, and that's going to be important for later. White trying to take a lot. Black says no. I'm reducing immediately. White's just like, well, then I'm taking points, bro. Mm-hmm. Take in the points. And then black goes ahead and does a diagonal. It's like, what? Diagonal? But what about this group? Hmm. Not really not really liking Kato Shin's uh uh play here. He's running out. Okay, very, very quick. But he's under attack, clearly. So he's running out again. Making them big points. Looks like... Looks like he hasn't really come into his strength, as it were, just yet. Good old Kato over here. But that's okay. Still enjoyable. 
White's doing the shoulder hits. We've seen those a lot lately now, too. Okay. Tying his groups together. And approaching. At this point, I would fully expect White to win. With a weak group in the middle, Black has points. Or sorry, the weak group in the middle, White has points. Uh, well, looks rough. Looks rough. But apparently, back here, there was one thing that uh, good old Kato Shin was really good at. We saw a hint of it. Small hint of it in the last game, in the 1915 game. You know what that is? What did we see that he was really good at, chat? Life and death. He was pretty good at life and death, wasn't he? Hmm. Indeed he was. Blast going after more, what's going after more uh, influence? Uh, attachments. Older Jisaki, but okay. I think it's that variation. I clicked it without even looking at it. Yes, it is. There we go. Got the buildy times going on. Poke. Continuing to build up that middle. Reinforcing. He still, like, got that patient play, though. 1911. Four years prior, he still got, uh... He still got that kind of patient play going on, you know? Okay, okay. Um... Threatening. Don't want to be surrounded. Big area. Taking points. Taking points. So so far so good. So far so good. Looks like we're looks looks like we're doing fine. White's got uh, some territory on top. He's building some territory in the bottom. Black's got the lower left and the upper left as main sources of points. The upper right and the lower right, kind of small in that regard. We can envision things like here to make more points in the area, right? So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pokes, connects. Takes that big point away. Makes sense. Poke. 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 Strengthening. Threatening in the cut. White says counter poke. Or black, though, sorry. And counter poke. This one's a bit more interesting. Because you can see there's like a disconnect here to isolate the entire left-hand side. This is a really nice poke. White agrees, and he retreats. Because if we play here, what are we going to do here? Are we going to, like, connect? Because now this group is pretty much surrounded and has to live, right? It's hard to do. Remember, this guy is pretty good at the whole life and death thing. So through he goes. Connect up. Make sure we can connect up. Now we're alive in the middle of the board. Still growing. Taking the points. Taking the points. I think good old Kato over here would probably have been really, really happy in today's meta. He loves them points. And he ain't afraid of influence. No fear in his game. I think this guy was born in the wrong time, personally. Tari got the block in. Like, look at all of that territory that White's making. 
it's it's insane. It's completely on fire. Defending. Defending. Look at that. Look at all of that. So why am I looking at this game? Am I just looking at a game where uh, the person who I just told you was amazeballs just gets pushed around all day? No. It's not why we're looking at this game. Connects. Defends. Defends. Making shape to make sure we're not dead. Looks like it's alive. A lot of good shape. A lot of good shape. Or is it a lot of good shape? What if it's not a lot of good shape? What if, chat, just like the cake, the shape is a lie? What if I told you there's a lot of bad shape on this board? Would that blow your brains out? Because you will notice... Small night. You will notice... Small night. You will notice... A small night. And you will notice... A small night. Now you're probably thinking... No way. Small nights can be cut. So Black says, can I cut you? Since small nights can be cut. White says, no, you're not doing anything. Okay. Some more reduction. And another small night can be cut. And now we're having a slight problem. Because there's a cut point here and here. Okay. More problems. The group is now cut off. But that's fine. This, th this can't possibly do anything. There's no way. Okay, it has forcing moves. Okay, it has forcing moves. That's an issue. It's, it, but that's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna target that. That that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Atari. Atari. Okay, that's a, that's a problem again, because now there's there's like Atari on this side and this side, and to the extent, um, and that's not a, a, alive right now. It, it, that means we have to back off, but then this is we have to throw into kill. Have to throw into kill. Atari. Atari. Okay. This is still fine. You can push into ki cutting off that. This is still okay. Okay, those are dead. Okay. Okay, need to get rid of the eye shape there. No problem. Lied. Minor problem. Can't kill that anymore. Black's alive. Because what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Here? That ain't going to work. Right? That ain't going to work. Can extend? But then there's that. Okay. And then there's this. And... Uh, 
Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. Probably here. But then that would just be dead. And 19 was greedy. And the thing is, with that 19, uh, you're gonna be dead. Or you're gonna, this is gonna be alive. Like, you can't be alive. You cannot afford life here, because this is all of your territory, and that's huge, that corner's nice, that's decent, this is looking pretty good, uh, this is, can be reduced some more, so just this is not enough to win. J Again, you can live here, but then so is this. So congratulations to Kato Shin, who apparently really practices that life and death. The first game, patient play, really good shape uh, exploitation into divide and conquer. Into, again, forcing moves to just live on the inside of a huge moyo. He was runner-up for the first Hanibo tournament, but never made Nindong. Yeah. He was good. He was, he was a fascinating player. I'm going to be looking through his game records to see if there's any more cool positions. Because it looks like he gets, he gets into a few of them. Like, here's how I came across his, his, uh, this guy. Literally, this is exactly how. Earlier today, I went to Wall Theory, right? Now, searching for a specific, uh, sequence. Which was this one. Around the stones. For white. And the only game record that came back on Wall Theory was Kato. Right? That just so happened to show the exact first game that we looked at. Like, that is insane randomness right there.